Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Teach with Joy with me, Joy Mendoza. Today we have another set of extraordinary guests. I'm so privileged to be able to talk to Mark Pingers and his wife Danica Soto. As many of you already know, Danica of course is an actress and she's also a TV host and Mark is a PBA legend. So imagine the kind of pressure that their kids may sometimes feel or maybe not. We're going to find out today as we talk to them about pressures and expectations. Thanks, Mark and Danica, for being here. I know you guys are super busy, superstars also. And we just thank you for taking thank time. Thank you also. Thank you. To yeah. be here. Thank you, thank you. So we're going to start off by playing a game. So pag true talaga, of course, you'll say yes. Pag false or kind of false, just say no. All right? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Practice, practice. So here we go. First question. I have a dream college or university for my kids. No. 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 Why not? No, because I want him to choose. Yes. Diba? But of course, we will support. Of course, we want to. We want him. Or we want our kids to get into. Like, to them. Very good schools, naman. Not naman na like no na as if we don't care. But there's no like pressure. Like if he wants to study here, go. If he'll say that he they want to study abroad. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Okay, you can talk about it. May hirap yun, may hirap. Bakit? Ako okay. Gusto ko, katabi ko sila. Number two, I want my children to stay away from show business. No. Nas ko si Kayla na want to become daw ano eh, parang singer or actress, parang mommy, so... I think what Mark meant was like, maybe no at the moment. Kasi syempre, they don't wanna... Pag nasa tamang ano na. Yeah, you don't want the kids to get distracted and just... Parang work na and not study anymore. Okay, number three. I try not to obsess about their grades. Go! No. Yes ka. Alam ko yes ka. Oh, di ba sinabi mo? Grades are important. Yes, of course. And studying so, is important. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, oh. So baka kasi yung word obsess why no? masyadong ano. Why no sa'yo? No, ibig ko sabihin na um, let's say kasi diba like some parents kailangan straight A yan. Let's say kunwari naging G, nawala yung BG, big deal na. So parang for me, as long as I can see that the the children naman did their best. Because sometimes it happens like na mental block pa lang sa, 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 sa test. But if you ask them like in a conversation, they know naman what they're talking about. Maybe that's why I'm not so obsessed with like what's on paper. Uh, sobrang strict po talaga ako doon. Uh, because um, nung bata kasi ako, hindi talaga ako nakapag-aaral sa magandang school or, you know, because I need to work at the age uh, eight. Kaya sabi ko nga kay Mick na I always, ano, support them kung ano yung gusto nila, but please finish muna your, ano, study. Study first, yun ang pinaka-importante talaga. But that is good. That's a good yeah. value also. Okay, number four. Please balance that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're really meant for each other. Okay. It's okay that my child fails and makes mistakes. Yes. yes. Mm. Oh, you agreed! Every time. <laughs> of course. Oh, why yes? Hey, come on. <laughs> For me, because that's also how they will learn. Yes. I, I always tell Nick na, because there was one time na we had to do like the secret for homeschool. And then I noticed that he just wanted to finish. And then he didn't really care about the answers. But he just wanted to finish because he wanted to play video Parang games. Parang chamba chamba lang, yes. He wanted to play video games already. So I said, you know, Mick, I'd appreciate if Konare you failed, but you tried. You tried, yes. Because you learned something. But but if you failed because you did it on purpose, because parang walang effort. Parang gusto lang maglaro sayo, agad. Then that's not good. Yeah. Sabi ko sa kanya. Pangit yun. Oh, but Konare na ka malika lang. It's okay. It's okay. I'll understand. Okay lang yun. So why don't we go now to more detailed questions, no? So, have you ever sat down and had this kind of conversation with your kids where you really ask them, you know, what do you guys want to be someday? Do they have those dreams already? Yeah. yeah. Mick is, um, want to become a basketball player also. 
businessman. Nag, you know, it changes. Sometimes it changes. They're like, still young. Also. Yeah. Kayla. Singer. Of anything that has to do with arts. Painting. Like singing, yeah. painting, dancing, fashion design. Basta nandun siya sa line na yun. So, given that your careers are really, I mean, you're very public people and I'm sure your kids are very aware of that. Like you said, you mentioned mo na Mick does want to become a basketball player, and that you lived and breathed that life until recently. So, do you feel like sometimes the pressure siya or hindi, or how do you navigate that? Uh, for me, kasi um, talagang inaasko si Mick kung ano yung gusto niya talaga. Ayaw ko kasi ma-pressure si Mick basta for me talaga kahit anong gusto nila. Talagang support kami ni Danica. It's very ano important kasi ayaw ko rin naman yun ma-pressure siya na. Kailangan mag MVP din ako dahil MVP yung dad ko. Kailangan, kailangan, kailangan maging artista ako dahil artista yung mother ko. Ano bang term dito? Parang freedom sa nila na gusto ko. Parang, sarili parang nila sarili nila muna. Sarili lang name at sarili nilang kung ano talaga yung gusto nila. And it's interesting to say you have one boy, one girl. So I'm sure minsan nakakompare mo yung upbringing mo. Mm. Diba? With what they yes, yes. are experiencing now. So is there ever any kind of pressure in that sense? Like, noon, ganito ako, so dapat kayo din, you learn to deal with this and that. <laughs> yep. um, for me lang naman, ano eh, um, gusto lang naman sa kanila yun, i-share yun kung ano yung ginawa ng mother ko for me. Lagi namin silang nire-remind na ito yun tama at ito yun mali. So gusto namin talaga na, you know, ma matuto rin talaga sila dahil hindi balang araw na sa tabi namin sila. Mm. Nice. Well, what about you, Danica? I want to add Parang, that. Yeah, like Mark is very particular with that. Uh, he always reminds the kids, not naman make lang, no, na, okay, you want to be a basketball player, but lagi siya sabi ni Mark that before, you know, before I reach this certain point, ang daming pinagdaanan ni Daddy. And I hope you don't take that for granted. Okay, we're here to support you guys, but just to set things straight, there's no pressure. Yeah, and that's a good balance, I think. Because parang Mark gives also the realities, no? Like right. not everyone's gonna have the same circumstances you have now, mm. especially the, like what he went through before. And I think that's good because I think sometimes also today, sometimes parents kasi masyado din... Stricto. Sometimes too strict, but sometimes also parang too... too permissive. Like lahat lang binibigay, yes, yes, diba? Yes, yes. Na kasi they have that capacity now. So sure, whatever you want, I'll give it. So parang it's a good balance, I think. Okay, now how do you teach your kids not to compare themselves with others? Or even with you guys? Parang there were times na nakita ko make people would really compare me to Mark. So, di ba, like when Mark was still playing basketball, and we would go to like Araneta or basta yung mga venue din. And then, the fans would tell him, Oh, Mika, ganyan, You're ganyan ka din. You're the next. Ikaw na rin, Mik, ganun. So, every time we would get home, I would always tell Mik na, if you really want this, then you pray about it. But don't do it because people are expecting you to do it. Because I know how it feels growing up, being, always being compared to your parents. And they always, even your looks, may soft spot ako para sa kanya. Kasi I, I, I know how he feels. And, he said naman, it doesn't bother him because he likes it. But sometimes lang, what bothers him is this is like pre-pandemic. Like not being able to to do things na yung without people noticing. Pinapaintindi ko na lang. How can you encourage parents to maybe recognize the bents, the talents of their kids individually without forcing them to be a certain way? Uh, important talaga, you get to talk to your children. Number one yan. Like, um, ask them, ask diba, them. what interests them. Kasi sometimes tayo, if it's something that we don't like, we usually, like, wala na, we don't listen to them anymore. Ay, nako, hindi maganda yan. That's, diba? But ask them, like my son, I ask them, why do you like this game so much? What do you find in it? What, what Kasi minsan may matututunan ka rin sa kanila. Parang what excites you? Yeah. Why ba? Or what, what's with this? Show. Why do you like it so much? So, from there, you'll know now what they like or what interests them, diba? And then, from there, you can already talk to them, diba? Encourage them na, okay, you know, I, I can see, like si Kayla, I can see, Kayla, that you're very creative and I know that you'll be able to use this also in the future. Because I cannot give her advice. If I don't know her, 
I feel that's the key talaga. If you know your children well, you would also know what to say. You'll know what their trigger points are. And you'll also know the words that will melt their heart. Please don't compare yourselves to social media or sometimes maybe for if you see us. Because also we are struggling also. We have our challenges. In what way? Oh, parang kami. We're normal parents. We, we go through the same thing. So sometimes when I get messages na, Wow, goals kayo, again, again. I say, no, you guys do you. As long as nandyan si God, hindi niya kayo papabayaan. I feel na doon nanggagaling yung pressure also ng kids and ng, ng parents. It's good that you, you get inspired from other parents and other kids. Maybe you can emulate, di ba, yung mga characteristics or good traits nila. But siguro do not imitate or don't feel na kailangan ganito ako. Kasi iba-iba tayo ng family setup, iba-iba tayo ng dynamic. So everyone, you know, thanks for being with us today. And Mark and Danica, thank you so much for thank your you. wisdom, thank your you. honesty, and I learned so much from them. So first, I learned that as we navigate parenting, and just all of us want our kids to be successful, but it's very important to have open communication with our children. Finding out what do they really love to do, and then if they express something that sometimes, <gasps> wait, medyo hindi, you know, not something that we may like, our first instinct should not be to react, but to ask them, oh, why do you want to be that, or why do you want to do that? And if it's wrong, I, I like also Mark's perspective. It's also our responsibility to guide them, set boundaries. But at the end of the day, as parents, like what Danica said, don't be pressured by other families out there. I love what she said. She said, you do you. In other words, God has a specific design for your family, specific purposes for your children. So you navigate that together by talking to your kids and then you support your kids with their bents and their interests. And that's the way to balance having expectations but not putting negative pressure on your children. And I wanted to end with this passage in Joshua he told Joshua, if you want to have success, you meditate on my word day and night and be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have success. So I hope that encourages you guys and thank you for watching another episode of Teach With Joy.